about getting out and learning what the outdoors is. Welcome back to the shooting channel and today we've got a we're going to do a film about four tens they've come a little bit more of a of a want something just to put in the cabinet just to say i've got one just because my granddad did and or, or had one they're quite fun to shoot uh i've got today i've got a a beton zolly and a yield it you've got to make sure that the chamber actually will take i would say take the longest cartridge you can have three and a half inch you can have two and a half inch you've got more of a selection of what cartridges you can actually use in that gun or when you're older and when you've shot a lot uh, a lot of people buy just to go and have a bit of fun with or a bit of a play with so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the the beton zolly first uh, and then we're going to have a shot with it see if i can hit something with it uh, and we're just going to talk you through what what the good points of a, of a 410 is so we'll start with the 410 with the Beton Zolly. The Beton Zolly one is actually a really nice little 410. Uh, it's got it's got nice engraving on there. It's got a nice recoil pad there. The wood is actually what I would call in in our terms sort of grade two, grade three. So for sort of six, seven hundred pounds, eight hundred pounds, it's actually a nice little gun. Selective safety catch, so you can pick what barrels. Multi choke. So even though it's a 410, it's got pretty much everything you can you can think of. It's got all the bolt-on goodies on it. Um, it's just a nice little toy or a nice little um, fun gun to have in your cabinet. And this one has actually got an adult stock on it. So if you want an adult stock, it's 14 and three quarters. Um, so if you're an adult that shoots a bit and just wants a nice fun gun, this is something that you can really, really appeal to and just go out and have a bit of fun. This one has actually got a bit of weight in it as well. A lot of 410s, they make light because most youngsters like a nice light gun, so they're not heavy. But this one's got, so if you are an adult, this is actually a really nice gun. This is 28 inch barrels. Um, for an adult to have a bit of fun with because it's got a little bit of weight whereas the yield it is a little bit lighter so if you've got a six-year-old or something like that that you just want to buy a nice gun cheap at 410 probably the yield it is slightly better for them because they're a little bit lighter and they're made with an alloy action where this one isn't so if you're an adult and you want something for a bit of fun this is more your kettle of fish so you've got ducks on the side so it's got pheasants on this side it's got a woodcock underneath so when you actually take it apart as well, you can see the action is actually, it's a proper 410 action. So it's not like a, a 20 bore built on a, a 410 action or something like that, like they do on some of the cheaper guns, but it's a proper 410 action. Um, it's got a fairly high comb. So this is actually quite, it's quite high rather than with Italian guns generally are low in the comb. So it's got that height in the comb here as well. It's got that lovely soft recoil pad. So you can actually, you don't feel any recoil at all. Again, cartridges wise. So I've got three and a half inch. With these, these are 16 gram seven shot. Nice little baby cartridge. Or if you're shooting pheasants, you want to use something a little bit more punchier just to get that nice, nice kill on that, on that bird. Um, if you're just using clays, any 410 cartridge will do. Just go out and have a bit of fun with it. Right, let's see if I can hit something. Pull. Pull. Ejector. Pull. Pull. For an adult, it's a really nice, well-balanced gun, and it's got a bit of weight, so it doesn't sway. So being a 410, generally you'll throw them around compared to a 12 bore, you'll throw them all over the sky. But this has got that little bit of weight just to slow you down. And the reason why is because it's the, the action is built like a normal 
action. It's not an alloy action. It's not a lightweight action. It's a, it's a proper gun just in the 410. Pull. So again, for me personally, I actually prefer this than I do the yielded. You'll see why in a minute, and then we'll compare the two. But if I was a young lad, sort of six, seven year old, potentially the other one, which we'll come and find out. Let's have a look at it. So now we've got the yield it. It's a lot lighter. Um, it's got 13 and a quarter stock. So it, if you've got a young lad that doesn't want a, a real long stock, it comes with 13 and a quarter inch stock. Um, nice buck plate, traditional English buck plate. Bit of height in the comb, pistol grip. Again, laser, compared to the Betton Zolly, which is a little bit more hand finished, this has got the laser, in, laser checkering, so it's all done by machine. Um, trigger, again, it's all like that little bit smaller action, so it looks a really nice little small gun. Laser engraving, dog on the bottom, and you've got a green when the safety is off, it's, it's the red where this one's green, so they've tried to do a little bit different. Um, it's not selective barrel, but who needs it for a little, little gun like this? Again, you've got an alley action. So if I take this off, compared to the Bet and Zolly, you see the aluminium down the middle, which is what makes it light for a young, a young lad. Ventilated ribs. So if I take the fore end off, you've got the ventilated ribs there. Multi-choke, change the chokes to helping you with whatever bird or whatever clay you want to use. So it just helps that, that bit more accuracy really. Let's see what it shoots like. Paul? Again, this one, which actually for a young lad is quite good. This one is not an ejector, but for a young lad, if you're just teaching, most instructors or, or parents will have their hand there when they're teaching their son or daughter to shoot when they're that small. And when you break the gun, it lets you pick the cartridges out rather than eject them all over. So for a youngster, it's actually probably quite a better idea to have a fixed choke, or have a, um, a non-ejector. Paul? So that was the yield. It's, as I say, let's pick the Betton Zolly up and we'll just compare the two. I'll close them both up. And if you look at the two, two, two side by side like that, you can actually tell that the yield is, is designed for that younger generation. The Betton Zolly is designed for an adult to have a bit of fun with, and it is good. It's much, for, for me personally, I would rather shoot with a Betton Zolly 410 because you've got that little bit more weight with it. But if I was buying a gun for my son or daughter, I'd probably buy a yield it because the whole the whole dimensions of the gun is smaller. It's lighter. You've got if you look at the two pistol grips, this one's a bit smaller here. The whole thing is just that little bit more tailored down to cater for that young lad. The only thing, even though I don't particularly think you need it, the only thing I'd say the better Solly has got and the yield it's hasn't is they've got that. Um, that hard butt plate, they haven't got the soft recoil, but you can always put one of them on it. The cost of that yield it is under 500 pounds. Generally, you'll pick one up for 
Um, sort of a new one is 550, you'll pick a demo one up for 350, 400 quid. So you can actually put a recoil pad onto it. But I would say these two are probably my best two 410s on the market because out of these two guns, you've got something for everyone to have a bit of fun with. Um, their idea of the alloy action, um, which again, I know Browning does one as well or did one, but the idea of that alley action just takes that weight away from the hand. Again, if you look at the balance of it, it's nice and balanced there. So you've, they've, they've, they've put a lot of thought into both of these guns. So they put a lot of thought into both of these guns. Okay, the Betton Solly is a little bit more, but you get nicer wood with the Betton Solly, you get nicer engraving, you get the recoil pad into it. So you get a little bit extra with the Betton Solly to start with. You don't get that with the, with the Yield It's, but the Yield It's is a starting gun and it's a fantastic gun to start in a young lad off. So that's my, that's my 2021 pick for the 410s. Um, what I would choose for if you want something nice, a nice little 410 to choose. You've got the Betton Zolly and the Yield It's, which I would choose as the best two 410s on the market at the moment. Value for money, versatility for what you get with them. Um, okay, with the with the you get a little bit extra with the Betton Zolly, you get an ABS case, you get the as I was said, but they're both still my top choice for 410s on the market. I hope you enjoyed this programme. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you've got any comments below on this guns and also if you've got any comments on anything you would like me to do with guns um, or anything, any films you would like to do. Please subscribe, please comment and let me know. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next week. share to your friends and have a look at what other films we've done and it's all there to try and encourage you to get into shooting this great sport.